have to be intentional to move with your angels. You have to be intentional. If you're a passive person, it's not going to work because angels, and, and let me also say this, that ignorance makes you passive and knowledge makes you intentional. So that's a wisdom door. You can write that down. Ignorance make you passive and knowledge makes you intentional. And that's the anointing of knowledge. Divine knowledge is to create the right intent, content, intent within you. So having divine knowledge creates the right content and intent within you. Now what the Holy Spirit will do is that he'll pitch you with your man of God for the purpose of activating you of how to navigate with your angels. Because if you think about it, the way that people starts navigating with demons is off of their company. You go to school, you, you learn about stuff, you learn about stuff, you around what you call your girlfriends. You learn about stuff. Some people don't even know about masturbation until they get around people. Some children be so innocent until they get around people. I know, I know I didn't I didn't know that masturbation existed until I went to school. I've never liked school. I never enjoyed school. The only time I enjoyed school is if I thought that there was a pretty girl in my class. That's the only time I enjoyed school. I never enjoyed school. People that go to keep on going to school, I think that they something wrong with them. They cuckoo. You grown and you keep on. I need to go back to school. Ah, oh, you. You try and go. Oh, you try to go back? You want to go back to hell? Who raised you? You cook? You you who done? Who the doctor probably slapped you twice when you was a boy? He probably slapped you twice. We gotta do an investigation, find out if he slapped you too. I'm going back to school to get my bachelor's. I have done made more money in my life than everybody that I went to school with combined. Never liked school. But I didn't hear about certain things until I went to school. When, when I used to be in school, I used to be bored. Bored, bored, bored. One time I asked King Jesus, I said, Jesus, what's the answer to this, this, this test? He said, I don't know. I said, Lord, you don't know the answer to this test? He said, that's not my information. So, Prophet, are you telling me that you don't believe in school? Yes. <laughs> yes. But you want Mexican yes, or you want an African yes, or you want a Nancy Pelosi. Nancy P Pelosi. Because she sure was nosy trying to get in President Trump business. You want, which, which kind of yes you want? Huh? Yes. The grass cutter? Yes. You don't learn certain things until you're around certain people. So the same way people can corrupt you with the information you hear, the conversation you hear, 
and they introduce you to demons off of what you hear them say. And they train you how to navigate with demons. You ever was around someone that was trying to teach you how to smoke or teach you how to do something that was destructive? They're showing you how to navigate with demons. So the father on purpose will pitch you around someone that will teach you how to navigate with your angels. Your man of God is the greatest pamphlet, handbook, manual to know how to move with your angels from Emmanuel. Your man of God is there to give you information that will keep your angels inspired. Your angels want you to know certain things. If my people perish for lack of knowledge, it shows you how knowledge gives angels power to do certain things. So think about this. Who's gonna get the knowledge to you if you don't know it? Your man of God, your priest. So while the man of God is getting the knowledge to you, the angels are there to stop all realms of perishing in your life. Whether it be the perishing of your health, the perishing of your emotions, because your emotions can perish. When your emotions perish, you, you get hurt, you're in pain, you're disappointed, you're discouraged. You're betrayed. You're trampled underfoot. Every level of perishing is destroyed by divine knowledge being transferred to you through your man of God. And that information inspires your angels. They love to hear the voice of God's word. They excel in strength, hearkening to the voice wherever the word of God is being voiced. Even your angels are anointed by your man of God. Not only are you anointed by your man of God, but your angels your angels are anointed by the voice of your man of God. The word of God tells you that they they excel in strength and they hearken to your man of God. So angels often wonder, why are you not listening to your man of God? Stupid. Your angels be listening to your man of God because your angels even know that they can't move in their ministry without your man of God. Your man of God has a manifold assignment, not only just to you, but to every angel that's assigned to you from the genesis of your life to the revelation of your life. Angels get fed off of Prophet Joshua Holmes. Angels sit at Prophet Joshua Holmes' feet. They hearken to the voice of his word. They hearken, meaning that they listen attentively, without distraction, without boredom, without irritation, offense. They love to hear the prophet. That's why you become demonic when you don't love to hear your prophet. Oh, well, I think, I think that God telling me that I'm not supposed to listen to the, I'm not supposed to listen to the prophet no more. I think that God spoke to me. God spoke to me and told me that he don't want me to listen to the prophet no more. Yeah. Yeah. Now, 
Next thing you gonna hear that guy was a Ku Klux Klan member. <laughs> the, the next word of the Lord you gonna hear, next word of the Lord of the Rings that you gonna hear that God used to work for the Ku Klux. Next word of the Lord that you gonna hear is that God, uh, Nancy Pelosi is a prophetess. <laughs> That's the next word of the Lord you gonna hear that that Hillary Clinton is a woman of God. She's been sent by God to, to deliver the nation. That's what you're going to hear. <laughs> you listen to people that say that they hear from God too long. Next, next thing you hear all type of weird, spooky stuff. Did you know that Harry Potter was being used by God to reveal the spirit realm to us? <laughs> Right, 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 that, that's, that's, you're right, you're right, that's what God said, mm-hmm, that's what God said, uh -huh.